What's going on everyone? Thank you for coming back and joining us for this middle nine of the 2024 Legends of the Lake presented by Innova. We're still over here at BG Disc Golf Course for round one of five, but round two of day one. And we're gonna be starting the middle nine on hole 18. Again, you got myself, Spanky Edwards, special guest Dave Salazar. Thanks for joining us, brother. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Howdy, Thank you. Howdy, everybody. Thank you, Ridge Merkley, for doing the catch cam today. Safety, Ridge Merkley. Safety, Ridge Merkley. Yep. Uh, Mike, Mike Sale, uh, had the shooting two under on that front nine. The only one under par so far, so mm -hmm. um, doing yeah. all right. Yeah, guy, guy is also, he's even. He was, uh, had a little struggles at the beginning, but he brought it back. Alex is uh, playing semi-clean here as well with an even, and Zach Heitzenerator yeah. is also even. <laughs> missed a couple low, then missed one high, made a comeback. You know, he's, it's everybody's, I think everybody's coming around dialing things in. Yeah. I'm excited to see the, the next 18 holes and see it's getting a little later in the, in the round and they're starting to feel warmed up. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we got hole 18, 670, the only par five out here. Uh, very fun shot, very achievable three for these guys. I think this is a good shot here for Guy. This is kind of where you want to be, just hyzer or straight to hyzer. Yeah, maybe a little left of, of the ideal landing zone, but still, I don't think he's going to have an issue for yeah. that. You got to get past those bushes kind of to Mike's right shoulder there, <clears throat> and then uh, go a little bit left, and you're going to be in the fairway here we go look at this mike's showing us the forehand which is the way wow. to get all the way down there it's kind of a straight then left then right and straight kind of shot so that forehand is really the way to push all the distance down the fairway and that was a really nice shot very very nice let's see what zach's got for us oh he's gonna get a little bit of cabbage up high he's, he's still gonna be in a fine landing zone from absolutely. there absolutely just shorter than he's hoping for you're just trying to bite off as much distance oh. as you can Alex has gone into a bit of the danger zone here. Yeah, he needs to make wise decisions on this one. Let's see what he does. See, it's so hard to get out of there mm -hmm. cleanly. Par is still very much in play. Absolutely. Even the birdie if he has a huge forehand right here. He needs to get low. You know he still has a par look. That's it. He still yeah. has the par. That's what I'm saying. It's a very achievable three for these guys. Um, and then I think most of them, if they're not getting the birdie, they're probably pretty upset about it because it's only 670 for a par five, you know, but you do have to get well off the tee and then well off your second shot. Yeah. I think guys in those, uh, that little bush there it has some thorns in it, you guys. So see how he handles that. Mike, that you couldn't do it any better. I mean, he's got to tap in three. Wow. What? It's got to be a very nice Eagle. Well, Mike's really showing everybody how to play this hole. Yeah. Am I keeping his bag on? He's walking down the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. This is one of my favorite holes on this course as well. I'll say that a lot, you guys, because <laughs> I like a lot. this course a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but this particular position is amazing. It's a real golf hole. I love it. Okay, great birdie. Great birdie. See. Like you said, birdie is really what you want here, but uh, an eagle <laughs> is pretty good too, I think. There it is. You. Yeah, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do. I think there was only two eagles on the day, mm. but still there was two. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't the only one to do it. So, yeah, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, thir and thirteen birdies. It's quite a bit. So. The, the hole plays well under par. Actually, I think there was only two pars. <laughs> so Zach and Guy are going to get one on Alex here. And Mike's going to get a bunch on everybody. Yeah. No surprise he's up here. This is oh, a quadruple mando, basically. <laughs> yeah, 324 feet. It's right there in front of you. You can see it. Uh, but it's a, a low ceiling and a high floor with... A wall, a wall on the left and the right, so... And the right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, look... Yeah, yeah, dude. That's, that's what you're looking for. That's right. exactly what you want. Right. I think he's going to be parkade. <laughs> that is a bullseye hit. Yeah. If you're keeping your stats in U-Disc. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. 
Looks like Alex is going to do quite the same. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good shot, guys. He missed CTP by about six inches. Did you see what kind of <laughs> shoes he had? Because it looked like dancing shoes. Because <laughs> he's on the dance floor. <laughs> What my mom said. Nice that yeah. shot there. I think that's how a lot of the holes at Bijou are, though. If you if you don't if you don't get the drive, just get the par. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's there's more danger than people give it credit for. I think sometimes. Yeah. You know, every people think they. Oh, but it's, it's a wide open woods course, but it, it's not. <laughs> but as long as you can approach, you can kind of salvage the par on yeah. almost every hole. Yeah, I think it's very fair. Yeah, for sure. Incredibly fun course. If you've never played it, please come check it out. So we got two birdies on this one and two pars. Hole 20 is a par 3, 300 feet. I think this guy's going to be playing uh, probably the stump, yeah? That's what it looks like he's shooting for. Yep. So there's there an is. elevated stump. That, oh. oh, my goodness. And he hit it. <laughs> nice shot. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's way up there. That that's the best thing you can do is just hit the stump, be at the base of it. I'd be surprised if anybody was ace running this, even only at three hundred feet. If you're going for it, you're gonna be like sixty to seventy away. Well, it better be a <laughs> steep hyzer. Oh, it's very steep hyzer. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna have a little work to do there. Yeah, you Mike can, is. Yeah, that puff from there. This basket is very high up in the air. Guys like myself and Dave need to use the steps to get our, <laughs> our disc out of the basket. You yeah. see what happens there. It's you want to run it, but you really can't if you want to score. Unless so your Mike, who yeah. is secret tear, You're running away. Okay, he got a good, good hit, and he's gonna go in for par. Nice birdie from Zach. Beautiful drive. Yeah, you see the extension on that putt too. That was textbook. Mm-hmm. Guy just pulling out all the stops, showing us all the tricks in the bag with the turbo put. Maybe from that close. Come on, Alex, you got this. <laughs> all right, oh, Zach's gonna go early. to uh, well. I, I really couldn't tell you what the line is here, Spank. <laughs> this is hole 21, 288 feet, through a lot of stuff. There's a, I've seen it played a lot of different ways. I think I've seen it played every single way. Might have even seen a roller. I just wow. saw a skip. Well, I'll try that next time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Deal. Oh, get clean. Oh. Wow. So apparently Guy found the lane. Okay, yeah, he's up there. Yeah, Zach's put one up there. It looks like uh, Mike's got a pretty good look here. Oh, he was oh. rooting for it, and then he hit that branch. We'll talk to the guys and have that trimmed. <laughs> look at Guy. He's really coming back from the beginning. Yeah. That putt is looking way more confident. Looks like Alex sawed that putt off is there. Zach's going to get his par, walk away, and go to the next hole. Mike's going to tap in his par as well. And Alex is going to do the same. Just the one birdie from Guy. Mm -hmm. Shows you how hard a 280 foot hole can be. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, another one of my favorite holes, Spank. Oh, is it? <laughs> so this is a, this is a 306. You can oh. see it down there in the shadow. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. I was going to say that shot was way too high, um, but it worked out for him. Got some course love there. So this hole, the, the branches, based on like the downhill, like the slight downhill slope of the fairway, are almost like shoulder high. Yeah. So if you're throwing it anywhere above your head, you're most likely hitting the branches. Let's see what Mike did. He did big Just a huge forehand over the top, and he went, seemed to be way long. I, I, I kind of tend to agree with you, but we'll find out. That was the right height for Alex. 
He never let it get above his chin. I think he's going to like that. Yeah, the approach from there is a, a bit tricky. Oh, not crazy long. All right. This is a nice area. Also of the course, you know, it's typically nice and shaded. Yeah. You know, it's like it's very pleasant. I like it a lot. Yeah, as soon as you leave this hole, you just walk into the Sahara. Yeah, you're about to go into full sun. <laughs> oh, guy. Rubbery. It was rubbery. <laughs> Sorry about that, guy. Yeah. Alex with the redeemer putt from the last hole. Always nice to see someone at... Miss one and then just jab one right in there. Yeah. He was he was not gonna miss it. No. No. There we go. Alex with the only two. On to hole twenty three. Little shorty two forty six. You know what? This might fight. It's gonna be a putt. <laughs> So it looks like he's gonna go with a backhand, probably some like a stable mid. Oh. oh yeah, you need to get just a little more flight out of that. That big tree will eats a lot of discs. And the frustrating thing about that big tree is it's actually way further back from the tree than you than you'd like to admit. When you hit it, you're like, okay, I, that was 50 <laughs> short. Like, <laughs> I'm not good. But all you have to do is get around it, and it gets all the way there. Yeah, just like Zach showed us. And then that branch eats up a lot of discs as well. So here, Guy's actually putting from the sand. Like, the sand that he was standing in is really, really soft. Yeah, yeah. Be beach sand. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Alex is going to walk away with his par. Oh, Mike sailed over it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know, we have to have fun too. <laughs> here we go. It's getting tight with these guys here. Mike's still ahead by, I think, two strokes on uh, on his card mates. But these guys are—they're uh, not giving up, really. And look at that, though. Zach's at four under. Oh, sorry, four under now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the only birdie there. I spoke too soon. Uh, here we go. Hole 24, 366 feet. Personally, my favorite pin position on the hole. Um, it plays over a huge open fairway with basically two big trees in the middle and then tucks itself into this beautiful little Al opening. Alcove, basically. Yeah, just a little cove of trees out there. And if you hit the line right, it's one of the most satisfying shots in disc golf. Yeah, you saw there Zach got further than Alex on that one, but he's going to have more in his way where and Alex is going to have an open shot for his birdie look and guy just threw a dime oh my goodness right through the right through the opening that you're going for what's up guy asking for some turn he's going to have the distance oh, oh what goodness. happened you know what he's, he has a I he caught something late and I got think a he's nice like kick basically in the circle or edges circle's edge you know like what said. Zach, a little obstructed, but... Mm -hmm. Just enough stuff to be in your way here. Oh, no. So close. There you go, Alex. Apart from Alex. Seems like he jumped, jump putted from like a million away and <laughs> just put it right next to the basket for the bar. <laughs> What a great drive and putt from Guy. Beauty. Giving the basket a little bit of love there. Showing his gratitude. Zach going to park that one in for his par as well. They're going to move on to hole 25, you guys. Which uh, is a good tee shot. Like you have, there's nothing really in your way off the tee shot here. It's 333 feet. I believe this one is playing straight ahead. He seems to like it. You can kind of see it. Yeah. <laughs> if, you can see about one inch of it. If you know, you know. Zach's going to try that to flip something up. perfect. 
Look at this. Beauty. Yeah, Zach coming alive in this middle nine here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see a whole different shot here. A forehand up the gut, and he's just going to let it do its thing. Yeah, he's going to have a nice birdie putt there. I tend to throw the hyzer on this one, flat hyzer. I think you showed me that spank on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you the line that I like, and it, I seem to have a lot of luck with it, so I go with it. But. Yeah, I like it too. And these guys did not do that at all. Not at all. Not one of them. I think we're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we like luck over skill. <laughs> That's a great birdie. I think the forehand, really, if you got it, is the way to go. Yeah. Hey, he has a nice controlled yeah. stroke on that, too, so it's no surprise. Oh. This is, although, a surprise. That is... Oh. Zach's going to want that one back for sure. But we won't dwell on it. He'll take his part and he'll move on. So, you're telling me only one guy got a birdie on that? Well, on this card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, hole 26 is a par 3, 243 feet. It's another very technical shot. If you ask me, you can go right up the gut with a flip or a straight shot, forehand, like... Over, over. Oh, like Zach's going to do there. There's so many different lines. Yeah, I think, Spank, you like going up to the right side, I right? Throw like a, I throw like a forehand Anheuser yeah. on the right side and try to pan it back to just settle under the basket. So, yeah. But then there's also the backhand to the right side with something overstable and just, just cruising to, towards the basket the whole time. So I've seen, yeah, 10 different lines at this one. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat on this one. No offense to cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah from where these guys were like yeah they're they just want their threes to get out of here except for this guy great birdie i feel like it is a great birdie like you can it is you can throw a really good shot and still get punished and you can throw a, a bad shot and get lucky and you know i'm gonna say it's a bonus birdie for a lot of people to be honest with you it was a handful, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not impossible, but, you know, with, with all the trickery going on and all the trees, it's mm -hmm. it's a good birdie. Yeah. That's going to do it for the second nine or the first 18 holes. Uh, Mike Sale still holding that lead on this card at minus six. We don't know what the rest of the field is doing at this point. So. Yeah, but Guy and Alex are holding steady at three, and Zach's two strokes from Mike. Yeah, at one point he was only one stroke off of a Mike, so yep, yep. it's becoming a very fun battle and they all look a lot more warmed up. Their putts are looking a little more dialed and their drives are more dialed, so. I'm looking forward to the next uh, few holes. Yeah, one more one more set of nine. Yeah, and, enjoy, the, uh, enjoy the view there on the screen, folks. See you later, Emerald Bay. Later. <laughs> all right, please join us for that final nine. Thanks for tuning in.